Let's begin, though, with the markets here, Jim. You you tweeted this morning that yeah. you didn't like the feel. No, now, what does this yesterday. data do? Simmy's yesterday. I mean, it, we're just in a, wow, the, the data's just really bad. I mean, if, if ADP is right, which is that almost a half million people got jobs, uh, some now there's been some uh, geographic areas that aren't so strong. South, surprisingly, wasn't as strong. But, I mean, I don't think anyone's set up yet, uh, particularly if they tr trade treasuries, for what remains a boom. I mean, I've been saying it's not a hard, a hard landing, not a soft landing. It's a takeoff. <laughs> this is a takeoff. Now, no one expects that. It's not supposed to happen. There's a couple of recommendations of Toll Brothers and Pulte. And typically, like, the new thing, and I'm going to savage these people tonight. Not savage. I'm going to say that perhaps they're ill-advised. Are these people who have price targets for home builders, and the price targets are like 40 points away, and they raise them by 7 they have to do that every day from now to kingdom come. So there is just 497 versus 220. There are very few people who are that off. Yeah. Um, ADP is a remarkable print. Now, granted, they've had issues with their model in the past, but a lot of it is leisure hospitality. That's 200 k well, right now, there. There's no end to the long on money, short on time. Now, Paychex did say yesterday that they're seeing a moderation, and that's small to medium-sized business. And... Uh, they are actually more concerned because uh, rates up has meant that people aren't being as adventurous. Right. Not, not go out there and try to come up with a new business. And it would be one thing if it was just ADP this morning, but challenger layoffs uh, month on month get cut in half, lowest since October. Claims, what, two-week high. I mean, it, but it all directionally says the same thing. Right. Now, someone was trying to make a case that the mortgage is being down for matters. That, no, that's ridiculous. I mean, there's just not enough homes. The reason why that would be done, it's not the rates. It's just there's not enough homes to buy. So, I mean, we got a nice, strong economy here. It's not what they want to see, but it's strong. Uh, I, I, I think it's a shame that it's strong for, for the big companies and not the small, medium size. But travel and leisure, we're going to be back to 2019. But we have to be well in excess of 2019 because we travel now and we go places I mean, we're sedentary. And by the way, the people who work from home on Friday take three-day trips to Iceland for all I know. <laughs> I mean, I, honestly, I mean, I love people who work from home because that means you don't have to work. And that's a sensational <laughs> thing. I have to come to work so I can't hide. That's right. I come, I, you know, I can't come to work and not work. When you start doing the show from home on Fridays, we'll uh, love... I have a studio that's set up in my basement. I want to throw a grenade in there. What is the point of working from home? See, work is, means going to work. Now, I know this is old-fashioned and dates from my first job in 1977. But had I gone in to the Tallahassee Democrat and said, you know what, guys? Friday is out. They would have said, Kramer, you're out. <laughs> right. How did it happen that we have a four-day... What are they fighting in France? No, that's... No, I shouldn't say it. That's a violent Yeah, thing. that's true. But um, we're, I mean, those people are traveling. They're going places, and they're pretending to work, and that's fine. So, we pretend to pay, they pretend to work. It's like the Soviet Union. So um, are stocks materially more vulnerable with the 10-year yes, above four? absolutely. And I think that we're, we're looking at and just saying we can't pay the same price earnings multiple. We have to, the yield curve is, uh, I think that we're going to have the 30-year at five and a half, and that's when this thing will end. Not till then. Uh, first cut now, getting priced out September of next year, uh, 2024. There's not going to be cuts. Yeah, I, I, well, that's, How I guess about that's the market's said saying. It's cut. You know, I bet you if we go back and look at the people who said that, that they were going to start cutting this year, we would find people who right now are seeking other jobs. <laughs> Why not? Uh, uh, Zaslav fires a lot of people. You noticed that. You, the, I read the, that piece. But it did compare him to Logan Roy, which to me meant that he was good. You read the original. Pirates. You read the original archived GQ piece. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think Zaz is about cash flow. I don't care about friends. It's about money. <laughs> Zaz is making it so that they can have cash flow. Yeah. Yeah. But that includes firing 30 people whom he does admit he had no idea what they did. Now, those people probably took off more than Friday. Those people may have been Monday to Friday, really digging in. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to comment on yesterday's well, you news. Have to. Exactly. You have to. Yeah, the Logan were... Roy, man. Yeah.